Hey geniuses, thanks for tuning in. I'm Brody Miller, and today I'm going to talk to you about the principles of classical mechanics versus the principles of quantum mechanics. Essentially, I'm going to talk about the physics of everything in the universe works. If that interests you, make sure you stay tuned for this entire thing. Classical mechanics is a study in accordance to the principles of Sir Isaac Newton. It is the first branch of physics to be discovered and is the foundation upon which all other branches of physics are based upon. Newton reduced the basic principles of cl classical mechanics to three laws. Number one, everybody and everything continues in a state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change state by the forces impressed upon it. So if you get punched, you're moving that way. Essentially, everything in the universe operates in a predictable manner unless there is an interruption. And number two, the change of change of motion of an object is proportional to the force impressed upon it and is made in the direction of a straight line which the force is impressed. Essentially, he's saying that everything operates in a linear manner. And finally, number three, to every action, there is always an opposed and equal reaction. Cause and effect, cause and reaction. All his laws make sense until there was a discovery of quantum physics. That changed everything. The word quantum comes from the Latin word meaning quantity. The history of quantum mechanics is a bit complicated with Planck's discoveries through the quantum theories of Einstein, Nikola Tesla, and others also had major contributions to the space. The main principles of quantum mechanics are as followed. Number one, non-locality and entanglement. Every subatomic particle of the universe communicates with each other and commu can communicate from any distance. Number two, the observer effect. What you focus on expands. And number three, consciousness is the ground of all being. Your mind controls matter, not the other way around. That's my dog. Much of our symptoms are operating on the principles of allopathic slash conventional medicine and Newton laws still to this day. To me, this is insane because quantum physics has completely changed our outlook of existence from a materialistic archetype to a multi-level paradigm unbounded by the limits of space and time. Quantum physics operates from the downward causation model where consciousness is the ground of all being, the ground of all matter, and mind and matter are both possibilities of consciousness. A little confusing, I know. Conventional medicine operates from the opposite approach, the upward causation model. The upward causation model is derived from classical physics and indicates that only matter can change matter. Where quantum or alternative medicine is based on the science where all possibilities exist. There are unlimited amount of possibilities for healing in the quantum. Nikola Tesla once said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And he was right. No, I'm not here to demean anybody who believes in the classical approach because it has its place and it helps explain a lot of, uh, you know, physical reactions. However, I believe that we are all interconnected at a quantum level. And the principles of non-locality 
and entangle hierarchy and the observer effect prove this to a, a basic level. Essentially, in other words, you use your mind to create the change that you want to see. Don't look for outside forces to do that for you. I know that this was a very in-depth and somewhat complicated video, but feel free to go back and listen as many times as you need because repetition is the mother of all learning. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.